Welcome to Bioinformatics with BB channel. My name is uh, Baba Jam Pandey. I'm an associate professor in bioinformatics. In a series of videos, we'll learn some basic statistical method to understand the biological data, and also we are going to create some wonderful graphics by using the R program. Along with this, so we are going to learn about the pipeline of gene expression analysis by using the R program. So if you take the introduction, basic introduction to the R. So R is an open source program has many many application in data sciences. It's majorly helpful to perform the various kinds of statistical analysis and also creation of some wonderful graphics. Due to its uh, syntax and easy to use interface, nowadays it's, it's gaining a lot of popularity. Most of the people are using this. So even the person who doesn't have the computation background, they can use this. Uh, are very easily so in this video we are going to learn about how we can install the r and also we are going to write a first simple program and a complementary dna so let us start so this is the first website we need to install the r terminal or r console so here just go to the cran.r-project.org so whatever the platform you are using you can select uh, any any platform it is uh, almost identical so in my case i'm using the windows so i'm going to select this windows r so here install r for the first time click this first time so here download r if this link is not working for you you have option here there is a mirror option is available if you click this mirror you can see different uh, locations uh, we can download the r program from various locations okay so here i just downloaded the console part okay so let's install this one next so by default in any platform you're going to get the same kind of similar kind of installations mac Linux or Windows. So, fraud. Okay, so once you've done this one, the R has been installed. You can see here uh, the R program. If you click this R, you will see the basic console of the R program. So now, if you want, you can run this console. Uh, you can run the R program from this console itself. But I think we are going to install the R Studio. So we have to install the R Studio. R Studio is an integrated development environmental file. It consists of a console and syntax highlighting editors that supports a direct code execution as well as the tools for the plotting, history, debugging, and the workspace management. So for doing all these things, we definitely need to have a R Studio, which is a much much better manager compared to the uh, basic console. So here is uh, this is R Studio, rstudio.com. Just know to go to download here there is a download option is available for you so you can select based upon your uh, platform you can select this one here we are going to select the free free download so depending upon the type of operating system you're using it's automatically it's going to pop out for you okay if you are using a mac ubuntu linux so you have a various options that are available so save this one save this one once you save this one, it will get this uh, complete installation of R. Okay, let's install this one. So here it's finished. Click on R Studio. So here if you open the R Studio, it will pop out the four different menus for you. So one is we call as a uh, this is a history and manage you can manage the environment. Okay, so uh, here you can execute your commands. This is a basic console of R and also here you can get the packages, packages, plots. Okay, so even the help also you will get from this uh, this terminal. So let us start uh, by by doing some basic modification to it so here the first one we have to do 
uh, we just need to change the so appearance of the this uh, R Studio. Okay, so just go to this uh, tool, click on global option here. So click on appearance. Appearance here we can select uh, 16. It will give a good view for you when you are writing here. So here we can change the color of uh, the console. So first we select the 16. The font is a little bit high. So now we can change the color to here. I will select this cobalt color. Okay. So inside this, click on OK. So now we can see here. This is the first. Uh, this is this is how it looks like. So let us start with the first program. So write down. If you start with the uh, colon, automatically the R is the beauty with the R is this automatically add the one more colon for you. So write down. Welcome to by Marx with B. okay so once you once you type this column you can click on run here or you can simply click on control and enter so you always need to remember so if your cursor is blinking here it means this line is executing so is this line is executing okay so click on control hit you can see here the first line has been for the first program has been created so the first program executed and it is written as a welcome to bioinformatics with pb you even you have an option to save this uh, this this file you can simply need to go to file so here save save here so one dot r welcome dot r okay so now you successfully save this R program. So whenever it needed, you can lo easily load this program uh, very easily uh, from the from your location. Okay. So simply here, you just need to go to file, click on this welcome to R. Okay. For example, I will show you here. So I download deleted this option here file. You can see here I can load this R program very easily like this. Okay. If you want to have a new console, new new tab, simply new script. You can just so. Uh, click on this this, this uh, new file or you can click control shift and you will it will uh, appear as a new console for you new console executable console for you so all the programs uh, all the programs all the codes we are going to write all the codes we are going to write in this console only okay let us start with the uh, first program so here i am not going to discuss about the fundamentals of the r here so if you see the fundamentals of the r you basically need to learn about the, what are the variables are there what are the constant what are the vectors are there so if you take the variable and constant they are the fundamental units that are used to develop a programs so if you want to learn a R language in your concept depending upon the type of data you're using you just need to practice with your data there are so many scripts are also many R scripts are available in online so where you can download the, uh, the R script you can play with that one you can change the script where you can you can you we can you can generate your own program depending upon the type of uh, data you are using if you are starting to practice with that script you will get mastered in your in your own way where you can generate your own program very easily so let us try to write the first program that is a complementary dna how we can create a, how if you give a string of dna i need to get a i need to have a a complementary stand okay so let us start this one so here you just need to remember one basic basic fundamental things in our program if you start if your line had been started with the slash mean you can write a command here this this line is not going to execute it r will recognize this one as a a comment okay so here i'm going to write this one complement test on here so i'm going to make a complementary dna for this sequence okay let us start this sequence i'm going to make a t g c t t c a g c t c c g okay for this string for this string i i need to have a complementary stand okay so let us start writing the program so here the first function we have to write with the dna seq okay so you just need to give a dna sequence this is the name okay so here greater than symbol so you can see this arrow this arrow means this information need to store here function function key x so here click on the flower bucket 
so here this function has to function x has been stored in a dns dns file okay so here the, it started with the function and you can start with this level bracket hold a shift hold a shift enter okay so now the base pair equals to c so here write down so once you once the, once the beauty of this r is if you click the bracket so it will add the bracket one more extra so automatically to add the bracket if you add a colon it will automatically add the so another colon here okay so here so a t so here i'm going to give a base pair names t g and c so one more thing you need not to worry even if you, you give a space to this one space in r uh, it's not going to it's not going to give any error for you okay you need not to worry about it if you have a space or not space you need not to worry about it okay so here a b c okay so here we're going to store this uh, unlist okay unlist here s t r p l i t okay so t o upper x here and we're going to give null for this one null. hold the shift enter paste list la Lappy A P C C function. So here function. We're going to write the function as a DNA sick so here open the floor bracket again so hold a shift and enter if dna sick is equals to a a strings should be written as t okay so, as t. okay so here if the dna sequence is t strings should be written as a if DNA sick is C strings should be written as C. If DNA sick is C string has to return as Okay, so here write if if DNA seek is not equals to
base pair okay string need to recognize this one as n so if it, it doesn't find anything then it has to recognize as okay so yeah so here click on enter now so here return return strings okay so here yes collapse it doesn't exist okay so we finished this one so here we have written the first program so let us run this one okay so select everything so select everything here up to here and click on run okay so the program is successfully loaded now such program is successfully loaded now you have to click dna so now you have to click dna seek okay so here just type your your uh, your sequence here so this is a sequence i want so any sequence you can type any sequence is not needed that you can need you have to type only this one so click on so control enter okay or if you want to click on this run you can you can see here you can it generated a complementary dna sequence for you okay so you can enter any sequence it's not necessary that you have to mention this sequence okay so here a t a t g c c t a n so t n o g t c g g c a a c w g c c a okay so here click on run run so you can see here so i gave this uh, uh, if it is ADJC, then only it's going to give a, a complementary strand for you. If it is the other letters are there, then it has been labeled as a N. Okay, it gave as a N. So this is how we can write a, a complementary, a very simple complementary DNA sequence by using the R program. So you can you can submit N number of uh, a sequence. If you want to save this information, it's very easy. Here you can save this one. The script save this one as a, a complementary couple dot r okay so even if you close this console whenever it's needed for you you just open the script so here open the script click on complementary okay you can now you can load this one or you can so you can run this command you can execute your your complementary DM. so in next class we are going to write a small program on complementary reverse complementary dna so there we need to add a few more strings to it okay so thanks for watching hope you like this video if you like this content please like share and subscribe to our channel stay tuned for the more videos on our program thanks for watching